welcome to another episode of the Sega Wall. I'm Sega Zombie, Scott Brand, and today we're going to do things a little bit different. As you can see, I'm in front of the camera, which is a little bit daunting. It's the first time I've done this. I hope um, this works out good. Um, it's going to be a pickups video. Um, just a few games that I've picked up over the last week or two. So um, let's get underway. Um, first up is a raffle win. My first big raffle win. Um, I enter most of the raffles on Galaxy Sega, Retro Realm. Um, there's a few Facebook groups that um, run these raffles. Um, most of them run on like the, the Lotto Bonus Ball or random.org. And um, this one was one set up by a guy, Galaxian, called Simon Ellis. And um, let's, let's take a look. Uh, they're all Mega Drive games, all mint, well, in good, very good condition at least. California games, I do believe I have California games down here somewhere, yes I do, so that would be a trade fodder. Zero Tolerance, a nice blue spine one, again um, in, in really nice condition, this one, I haven't played this game for a while actually. Be interesting to see how it plays again after all these years. Uh, next up is Road Rash. I do have the Road Rash games already, um, but it'll be interesting to see. Check on conditions, things like that. Really chuffed with the win because it, it's great trade. I do love to do a good trade with people. Um, you know, it helps me add a title that I haven't got. Next one is Road Rash 2. Again, not in bad condition. Complete. The manual is a little dog-eared, but no, still chuffed with that. And Road Rash 3. Again, complete. In, in, in very good condition, this one. So it's hang tab. Yeah, really, really chuffed with that fake Simon. It pays to be in it to win it. Um, up next, this is a bundle I got off of a guy I often talked to on the Galaxy. Really nice guy, um, Dan, Dan Coles. He, he, he was selling a few Mega Drive pizzas. I managed to pick up some nice blue spines. As I've mentioned before, I've been focusing on these, trying to get um, a complete set of them if I can. Um, Donald in Mayu Mallard, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Mayu Mallard? Yeah, I gave it a little go last night. Um, nice graphics, an average sort of platformer really. I'm sure I'll give it a better blast, it's in lovely condition. Yeah, really, really pleased with that one. Next up. <laughs> Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Do you know what? Even back in the day, I was never into these. Never really quite got it. A bit cheesy, as a bit of fun, I suppose. But it was a it was a side scroll and beat up. So, so that's what interested me in it. Again, it's a blue spine. Um, not bad graphics. Quite good animations on it. Uh, environments are so so. A little bit of parallax scrolling here and there, which is nice. Um, the biggest letdown, and, and honestly, I played this all the way through last night until the end. It was tedious. I actually struggled to get to the end of this game, not because it was difficult, but that you were just fighting wave after wave after wave with the same enemy, um, like a putty man and a and some sort of slime character. Um, they try to break it up a bit when you're in the sort of like. Um, the bigger robots, but again, it, it's just a mindless button bash that um, them segments. Um, so yeah, bit disappointed, but a great one for the collection needs to be added. And the last one I got off Dan was Mega Bomberman. Um, <clears throat> Bomberman to me, average game really. It's quite fun multiplayer, but it was probably because I was never good at it. You know, I was always the one that got blasted <laughs> but again it, it's in lovely condition 
Um, I don't think I've ever played the Mega Drive version of Bomberman. Definitely played it on the Saturn. Um, I think I played the versions on the Amiga. I'm sure it's the Amiga. Um, but never played it on, on the Mega Drive. So it'll be interesting to give it a little blast, see what it's like. And I'm sure my lad will love this game. So me and him will have a good blast on this. Um, so there what I got off Dan. Excellent Dan, really chuffed with those. And then these I got, oh, really, 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 really pleased with these. Got them off a guy called Alan McCluskey. I think that's your name, isn't it, Alan? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it is. Um, he advertises a lot on um, a Japanese games group on Facebook and also on Galaxy Sega, Retro Realm. He sells mostly Japanese releases. Great guy. Um, the first one I picked up was Saint Sword, a Taito release. I'm not sure if this was an originally an arcade game or not. I don't know a huge amount about this game to be fair. I purchased it after watching a couple of YouTube videos. I do love Taito. I like Taito games. Again, it's complete. There's a little bit of fade to the cover, but I knew about that. You know, yeah, clean, nice condition. Um, plays a little bit like Rastan. Um, yeah, that's that style of game. I think there is like a magic power, uh, uh, sort of like level up to the game, but I couldn't quite figure that out. I had a quick blast. But yeah, yeah, it's good. Good game, moving on to the next one. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. KG Kai? Cage Kai? Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, in comments, but um, yeah, this this I really like. It's a really quirky little fighter. It's sort of um, I'm trying to think what it's a bit like. Uh, it's one on one. You, you fight a couple of uh, guys to start off with, um, and then you'll and then you'll come up against a boss. Um, they've all got their weird, quirky little um, Japanese um, characteristics, stereotypes. Um, some really good speech in this. Unfortunately, this is Japanese, so it's all in Japanese. Um, but yeah, I'm sure I've played this game in the arcade, so I'm pretty certain it's an arcade release. I'm sure back in the day I played it in the arcades, and I know I've never played it on the Mega Drive before. But you had a right blast um, having a go on that. Yeah, it, it's a fun little game. Look, yeah, I like that a lot. And the cream of the crop, the one I've been after for a while, guys, and that is Raiden Trad. Really, really happy with this. Um, I love the Raiden games. Again, when I was young, our local chippy um, had, had a, a cab of this. Um, we used to go in our breaks after school, or during school, and give this a blast. Um, loved the game. I do believe the only time I had this on a home console was on the Atari Jaguar, believe it or not. Uh, me and my mates used to play this um, all the time. Great game, we used to clock it and just, yeah, go and go and go until we die, try and get the highest score. It's complete. I've never played the Mega Drive version of Raiden, so I'm really interested to see how it runs on there. I'm going to give that a blast later. I might do a future video on this. Um, I'm definitely going to do a future video on shooters because I, I love my shooters. As um, a lot of you that know me know, um, it is one of my main focuses is, is shooters, and you know that's what the Mega Drive is great at. It's so good, sport for choice for shooters on the Mega Drive. So yeah, I'm really really chuffed with that. Thanks a lot, Alan. Um, that's brilliant. Um, something a little bit different. I thought I'd mention it because it is it is relevant to Sega, but I've I've just purchased my first Nintendo console. Uh, 3DS, a uh, new 3DS, it's the Chrono Trigger limited edition one, I've got it off a, a Facebook page in a bundle with a load of games, not interested in the other games, I'll be selling those, I got this solely for these um, Sega 3D releases, really really impressed with how, how good they are, they, they play really really well, and the 3D is really good as well, really impressed with this little um, handheld, yeah great little Nintendo handheld that is. Um, so yeah, like I said, I purchased it for the Sega games. I know the Japanese 3DS has uh, a different compilation, which you can download all them games on the Nintendo Store, which I've done. Outrun, um, Streets of Rage 2, they all play really great. Outrun plays superb, I'm really impressed with that. Um, 
Uh, we picked up a couple of games, obviously. I picked this up, uh, Sega Classics Collection 3D. I do believe this is only available in Argos, so grab it quick. Uh, I think it was $24.99. Um, so I, I, I had to purchase this. Um, great little game, it's got Altered Beast, Sonic, Poe Poe 2, Poe Adrift, which Poe Adrift is absolutely stunning. Um, I'm pretty certain that's arcade perfect, that it plays really well. Fantasy Zone 2, Thunderblade, again, I think that's arcade perfect, plays really, really good, really, really solid. Um, yeah, great little set, I'm, I'm really chuffed, it was worth me getting the 3DS just to, um, to put this in the collection. And I also picked up, as a lot of you know, I love Street Fighter, I picked up this cheap in CEX, it's like a fiver or something. Um, Super Street Fighter 4 Super 3D Edition. Yet to give this a blast, but it'll be interesting to see what that plays like in 3D on the 3DS. And so there you go, guys. That is uh, my local pickups over the last week or two. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm hoping to film more in front of the camera um, when I can. Unfortunately, equipment that I have at hand, I use ev I use my iPad for everything. So everything you're seeing is all filmed, edited, and done through my iPad. Um, I'm hoping to invest in a camera and some better equipment. So yeah, I'll be in front of the camera a lot more. I hope you're really enjoying the Sega Wall. Um, I've got loads of ideas for future videos. Um, stay tuned guys, uh, check us out on Galaxy Sega. Um, like I said, I'm an admin on there. It's a great, great community, really good. Not your usual Facebook group bullshit. It's real genuine guys on there. Um, they all have a passion for Sega, um, a really, really fun community, they have a right laugh on there. Come and check it out guys, I'm Scott Brand, Sega Zombie, until the next episode, goodbye.